basically, the science of mixology, or what I put it, the recipe for, for making cocktails, really comes from a foundation of four building blocks. Okay? So the first one that we have is the straw. And you can call that spirit, whether it's tequila, gin, vodka, etc., etc., etc. Over here, we have our sour. Okay, so your most common one is, is uh, your citrus. Over here, we have our sweet. So, namely, sugar. Of one type or another. And then, this far corner is bitter. And bitterness can come from a myriad of things. It can come from a, an herb, spice, campari, um, uh, Angostura bitters. Now, when we talk about um, making, for example, a margarita, we start here with our tequila. We go to our sour, which is our lime, and then we go to our sweet, which usually is a, a quattro. Or you could use sugar, or like we did tonight, we used uh, maple syrup, honey. Um, what do we use? Maple syrup, honey, regular sugar syrup, elderflower cordial, and actually like a liqueur. So, you know, it, it all depends. Now, you can put it to, to, to any, basically, connection there. But then there's always the essential one. The one in the centre is really probably the most important when it comes to, to drink. And that is the element of water. Because you need dilution. So whether you're making a cold drink or a hot drink, water tends to be the integral part of any cocktail. Whether you go strong, sweet, bitter, whether it's just as strong and bitter, um, it has to pass through the water. So you need that component of water to actually work. Several exceptions, um, things like Bloody Mary. There's always exceptions to the rule, always. Martini is another one. But with said martini depends mostly on that water breakdown. Okay. An integral part of that cocktail. And probably one of the most famous of the cocktails. So that's basically that's my it? little explanation okay. of how cocktails actually work. I mean, if you use that kind of principle, you really can't stray too far from the truth. So you need all of those things? You don't need all of them, but you need at least kind of working on, uh, like, you can that use strong and, and, and bitter. You can use strong sour and bitter. You can use strong sweet and bitter, you know. You can use any one of those combinations and it'll tend to work. Okay. You just have to play with, with balance. And that's the other, the other component is on all of this is balance. Okay. So if there's, if there's too much of this, it'll, it'll balance, you know, it'll balance too much on the strong side. If, uh, if you have too much sour, it becomes too tart. If it's too sweet, it becomes sickeningly. You know, bitter, unpalatable. So you kind of need to have the balance of, of all of those ingredients together. Um, so, for example, if we were, if we were to talk, if we were to talk a margarita, right, we go, uh, let's say, 45 ml tequila, um, 20 ml sour. 30 ml sweet. And that, as a stock standard recipe, should work. There's four basic ingredients. Okay, so just to wrap it up, um, what's your name? Manuel, and and, and what do you do professionally? I'm actually, uh, I train people on, on making on drinks. Making drinks, excellent. Good wrap up. Thank you very much.